Okay guys, in today's video, I'm gonna go over some more items that I think are a must have for new boat owners. Stay tuned, it's coming up. Alrighty y'all, Lou here from Beyond the Bounds. This is a channel geared towards bass fishing and gear review. So if you like that sort of thing, click that subscribe button up top. Make sure you hit that bell so you get notified when I release new videos. Today's video is gonna be about some more items that I've had to procure and acquire uh, in order to run my first bass boat and to travel and to do tournaments with. So question of the day, you know, what is some more items that you think people need to own um, for purchasing their first bass boat. You know, some of the things that I've seen in the past include uh, bolt meters and some more electrical items, things that I haven't acquired yet. Um, props, props are probably a big one. In my most recent BFL as a co-angler, my boater actually threw a prop while we were running down uh, to the South Potomac. So, you know, I've started traveling with my boat. This was part of the reason why I always wanted a boat was to travel, uh, do tournaments and just have fun, grow as an angler and learn and, and be able to experience new things, new waters and everything. And I guarantee you having a boat has allowed me to do that. It's allowed me to be at the bottom of a lake and then run up to two lakes up or something like that. You know, so I'm enjoying that process of just getting to fish different things, maybe trying to find an offshore hump, mapping that. I'm just loving the process. And these are some of the items as I travel that, especially here recently, that I've like, I've got to have these items. So let's get into those. The first item that I have to, to show you is, is something that is, is super simple, guys, but it's like, if you're not kind of thinking about these things, you might not, you know, gravitate to this first. But this is one thing that, would definitely and will definitely save you time in the mornings when you're getting ready uh, for a tournament because you're probably gonna have to wake up at 4.30, get to the ramp, which is gonna be about 100, 190 people deep, 200 sometimes, and you need every moment that you can spare in the morning. You gotta get gas sometimes, maybe you should probably do that beforehand, but you know maybe you weren't, you didn't because you were tired, you gotta get ice, you know, stay at a hotel that has ice, always a good idea. You know, there are little things that you can do to speed up that process in the morning. And this is one of them right here. This is just, I think it was like 10 bucks, but it's for rolling up your extension cord in the morning because you're gonna try to stay at a hotel that allows you to charge and has outlets, but you know, you need to roll this up. And I didn't have one of these during my recent trip to Santee Cooper. So I guarantee you guys that after, every morning out there just rolling one of these uh, long extension cords up. And trust me, you're gonna need 150, 200 feet sometimes of extension cord just to reach your boat, which is parked some you know far off place from the outlet at the hotel or wherever you're staying, or maybe change up where you're staying to a cabin, whatever, sometimes. But this is gonna come in handy, I guarantee you. And, and again, when you can just sit there and crank something up, if I can find this on Amazon, Amazon. If I can find this on Amazon, I'll post a link down below. And, uh, you know, but definitely something I highly recommend picking up. Let's continue on with some other things that I can highly recommend. You know, having good face protection is kind of crucial, especially when you're zipping down the lake at 70 miles an hour. Now, if you're in the boater position, the, the windshield actually protects you a lot. However, if you're sitting in the center or on the uh, passenger side, you're really getting the full force of that, especially if you don't have a console. Um, the middle guy, if you run three deep, actually when I was at Santee Cooper this uh, last weekend, I ran you know three deep people here, and uh, man, the guy sitting in the middle would just get covered in bugs because the windshield is just deflecting all of that off. Like I was sitting here, I, I was perfectly fine. I look over at them, sunglasses completely covered, uh, face mask completely covered. So, you know, worth the investment to get one of these. Now, this is safe face and for some reason, as soon as I bought this thing, the uh, foam started coming off there. I think that's just an easy fix, kind of come in there with some glue, but you know, I definitely uh, enjoy having this. And you know, you can actually get these custom painted uh, by K&K &K Customs. 
Uh, check the link down in the description. I'm going to show another one of their products here pretty soon too. But you know, get get one of these custom painted and hey, you know, custom dipped. Going to look pretty cool. Uh, but good for uh, lots of other applications too, riding ATVs and so forth. But having this, you know, if you don't want to front the money for one of these, you can actually buy some some just you know snowboarding goggles riding goggles or something now these are actually expensive ones because they're my snowboarding ones but you know i've seen these run anywhere from like 24 bucks or so up to 100 bucks up to 200 bucks at times but especially in the winter when you're running these things really come in handy because protect your face your eyes from that cold wind it allows you just to to run on it unobstructed down the water and and these are really good these especially these oakley's are really good for just the viewing of everything you know it it crisps everything up so uh, highly recommend these for running running your boat but those are definitely things that i found that i absolutely needed uh, next on the list is going to be a security device of some sorts now i'm going to do a whole separate video on this one so stay tuned for that probably going to film that as soon as i'm done here filming this one right now but let me tell you, I slept better at night knowing that if anybody got close to my boat, one, I would see them, two, I could hear them, three, I could speak to them from my hotel room. Uh, this thing is not without its limitations, but let me tell you, if you're looking for a low cost security product, this was, you can get a baby monitor for under $100, you know, just make sure that it has some of these features, you know, night vision and so forth and you know you'll have a very low key low cost security thing that you can put on your your boat and how this works is essentially when you're running power into your boat to charge it you can just split one off or have a little splitter in there with another outlet to to power this bad boy you know that'll keep your that'll keep your boat safe safe and secure and especially if you run across somebody who can or somebody who wants to steal your boat That'll be easy to talk, talk them out of it pretty much. So um, again, going to do a whole video on that coming up. So stay tuned for that. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of this content about owning a boat, about buying a boat, about running a boat, cost, everything, you know, make sure you hit that subscribe button because if you don't, you're going to miss stuff and, you know, I don't want you to miss stuff. So uh, finally on the list is simply just a pair of scissors. You know, it's something that you need on the boat, but I can highly recommend these quantum uh, scissors that I picked up at Pass Pro. Man, these guys are sharp. Matter of fact, when my buddies were rigging up for a San, for the Santee Cooper tournament, man, they're like, hey, uh, can, can, can I borrow your scissors? <laughs> I was like, sure, man, of course you can. Um, but these, uh, these quantum scissors are legit, guys. Uh, they're pretty daggum sharp, and you know they, they fit in the tool compartment here on the Skeeter pretty well. Uh, but highly recommend these scissors, scissors. So uh, if you're looking for a good pair of scissors, and not that expensive, I think these were 13 bucks, maybe cheaper than that actually, um, highly recommend these guys. So, so that's just a few of the items that I think you should have when purchasing your first bass boat, when preparing to go out there and, and fish on the waters and run one of these bass boats. So if there's anything that you guys can think of, please drop that down in the comments section below because this is kind of a base of building for people you know, like myself, people like you, who are looking to purchase a bass boat and for people who've been running bass boats forever and may want to acquire something else, may want to see, see how one of these items works out for them. So you know, throw that down in the comments section below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of these types of videos that I'm gonna be putting out. I'm putting them all in a playlist so that you guys can, can kind of comb through them over time. But as always, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Y'all have a good one.